Hi, I'm Werner and I'm a rural family dog from Radville, Saskatchewan. I'm going to share with you my experience of applying the patient's medical home model to a practice in a rural area. The PMH model is all about offering team-based care and that care is patient-centered to best meet our patient's needs. But how do you do that well when your patients live far away, which is common in most rural practices? Our practice serves over 7,000 patients in a region about the size of Belgium that contains about three major communities. Our patients have 24-7, 365 access to emergency coverage with emergency medical services available in each of these communities. Our team is able to see all emergency cases as well as children who are ill on the same day and we book all regular appointments with a team member within two to three days. In addition to receiving referrals to other specialists when necessary, our patients have ready access to nurses, pharmacists, physiotherapists and dietitians, as well as mental health, home care and lab services. All of these services are coordinated through the central hub, our family practice, our patient's medical home. It might sound like a lot, but the principle described in the PMH model provide guidance on how to get there. It is not a magic solution though, it requires time and effort. Here's what worked for us. Evaluating the needs of the community allowed us to get the right mix of health professionals that provide the kinds of services our patients need most. Providers are not always physicians. Patients have access to the most appropriate professional at the most appropriate time, according to their needs. Making sure all team members use the same electronic medical record in a consistent way allowed us to provide a seamless patient experience. Even though our team members are located all over our service area, we are all connected through the EMR and we are in constant communication. We also use secure text messaging to stay connected both during the day and after hours. I am able to provide care inside and outside of our primary location in clinics in other communities and in long-term care facilities and can access records on mobile devices and at home. Relationships with my physician colleagues in other specialities have developed and grown through my 15 years of practice here. Our existing connections ensure that when my patients need to see a specialist, the referral can be quick and convenient. We all use standardized templates for evidence-based care incorporating best practice guidelines for the management of chronic diseases like diabetes and coronary artery disease. Clinical decision support triggers guide decision making within the team. Most important, the team-based system that we developed was created out of our own initiative. We only received the financial support from the regional primary care initiative once the framework was in place. Even if this kind of support is not initially available, you can definitely start implementing tools and systems now to become a PMH practice. Our practice uses some of the patient's medical home elements, but not all. It's a flexible model that aims to improve the experience for both you and your patients, as well as providers within the team. Check out the PMH website. It contains an interactive tool to assess how your practice currently aligns with the PMH model and actionable advice on the steps you can take to advance your service to be a full PMH. Whether your practice is in an urban setting or a rural setting or anything in between, by working together you can make sure your patients receive quality coordinated care in one or many locations that is trusted and valued by all, a patient's medical home.